you know, in light of what we were talking about in the last uh, couple of frames, think about this for a moment. If, if, if government could take away those firearms, the EPA, the BLM, the governor of Oregon, uh, Senator Barbara Mikulski, think about what they could do to you. Well, I mean, Mikulski and the governor of Oregon likely wouldn't, if you're a guy, they wouldn't have much interest in doing anything to you. But I'm telling you, they could be very dangerous. It's 934. Bill Colley with you on Top Story. It's 30. Look, if you're not hearing this program, you're, you're lost. I really got to tell you that. On the other hand, if you're trying to hear it and you're struggling to hear it, you may need to get your hearing checked. I want to recommend Dr. Christine Pickup, a doctor of audiology. She's at Mott Harrison Audiology in Rupert, 1218 9th Street, unit number 2. Her telephone number 208-312-0957 or go online at mottharrisonaudiology.com. Hearing loss is strongly associated with depression. When you struggle to follow a conversation or you politely nod because you don't understand what someone else is talking about, you may decide it's easier to skip out on that night with friends or the next family gathering. Stay connected with those you love. Hearing connects you with people and keeps you engaged in life. Don't let hearing loss keep you from enjoying your family and your friends. So I was mentioning this earlier in the program. I wanted to just get a couple of words in about it and then get back to some telephone calls if you're so inclined. Daily Caller, liberal senator says she wants to avoid constitutional arguments during hearing on Obama's executive gun action. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's just forget that. Maryland Senator Barbara Mikulski said at a Senate hearing Wednesday that she wanted to avoid getting, quote, involved in constitutional arguments, unquote. The only problem is that the hearing in question dealt with President Obama's recent executive actions on guns, which many believe infringes on American Second Amendment rights. Quote, let's not get involved in the constitutional argument. Let's help our American people be safe and secure in their home, their neighborhood, their school, and their house of worship, unquote. Yeah, if you gave up all of your firearms uh, and let the government come in and keep you safe, gosh, you'd never have to worry about anyone breaking into your home because, well, you'd be locked away in it, and they'd be locked away in theirs. 936, Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310. KLIX and NewsRadio1310.com. Telephone number, if you'd like to reach the show, 736-0300. You can also reach me by email at bill.colley at townsquaremedia.com, bill.colley at townsquaremedia.com. Keep in mind, I do give preference to the telephone callers. It's a sound medium, as I'm fond of saying. All the more reason to call Dr. Pickup. Sound medium, and so I'll try my best to get your phone calls on first. We have another caller with us. You're up next. You're on the air. Bill, I want to know, these people that uh, swear to uphold the Constitution but don't, how the heck can we get them out? Or why don't they just say right up front before they even get voted in that they don't care about the Constitution and they will know where they stand? I, I think it's a great question. And let me let me follow up on that, too, because there's a story I saw this morning that reflects on what's happened. And you realize this governor of Oregon who wants to go in and guns blazing, clear out the guys at the wildlife refuge, she hails from Portland because Portland is the liberal bastion and they have a big city with all of the liberal votes there. That tiny little fraction of Oregon can run roughshod over the rest of the state, which is a conservative bastion. But there just aren't many conservatives living out there in the sagebrush. In California, as it turns out, where all of the major cities on the coast went ahead and passed higher minimum wages over the last year or two, they discovered that the rest of the state is doing better economically than those cities. In fact, hotel jobs and restaurant jobs are disappearing. Who would have thunk it? The problem is we're dealing with all of these mindless liberal twits out there who can't count, obviously, who know nothing about how an economy works, who, who don't care about how a constitution works, it's all about me, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme. What can the government give me? The government's got to be mommy and daddy and Santa Claus. That's what we're up against. And unfortunately, we, I don't think we can change their mindset. We may be headed for a divorce. Let them have Los Angeles, Portland, and San Francisco, New York City, and Boston, and the rest of us will go about our business on our own. We have about a minute before the next break. You're up next. You're on the air with Bill Colley on Top Story. Hello? You're on the air. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know who Rick Wilson is. 
Sure, go ahead. He only ran uh, John McCain's presidential campaign. Oh. You'd think you might know something like that. <laughs> Rick Wilson ran McCain's campaign. Yes, so, he did. So we know that he's not a genuine Republican. Uh, yeah, well, according to people like you. Hey, thank you very much. Well, yeah, because John McCain is so beloved currently among Republicans across the country. I'll tell you something. John McCain, great American hero, once. You know what? Go back to the Revolutionary War, Battle of Saratoga. The hero of that conflict was a guy by the name of Benedict Arnold. He was badly wounded in the battle. If he had died afterward, after having saved the American army in that situation, which he did, he would be known today as the greatest American hero, and there would be statues to him across the country. But it's what Benedict Arnold did after the fact that shamed him. It's what John McCain has done over the last two decades in this country that have shamed him. Don't forget that. 20 minutes away from 10 o'clock. Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310, KLIX, and News Radio 1310.com. 32, we're at the freezing mark.